Happy 4th of July. I thought it'd be really fun to show you what a little holiday looks like in the Sullivan household. Brian is home from work today. You just saw him. He's probably going to go put on a shirt. And we are going to, I don't know if we're gonna grill because it's been really hot and humid and wet and rainy and thundery here in Florida and like super buggy too. And that's the most frustrating thing living in such a beautiful state is the summertime is almost like not even bearable outside so we might just like chill and cook inside but something that i want to cook today is potato salad but i want to do potato salad in a like more calorie friendly way potato salad is my favorite thing for summer my grandmother's potato salad will forever go down in history. It's so, she must have like this potato thing because every single meal of hers that is my favorite is a potato. Her bake, or, um, her scalloped potatoes, oh, and her potato salad. So I am going to try to make cauliflower potato salad. I have never done this before. So just, you know, you're gonna cook with me. You're gonna see the behind the scenes of me just creating a recipe because I I don't know you know I'm just gonna wing it and I know it's gonna turn out amazing because all I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the, the base of a potato salad and add cauliflower and instead of mayo I'm gonna use Greek yogurt so it's gonna be fantastic so I wanted to show you guys today what I was making I'm probably gonna make some chicken or turkey burgers as well and um, you know the 4th of July and these types of holidays were always something that would really stress me out because I knew that I was gonna overeat it was my excuse to eat like an asshole and uh, I know a lot of people have that same mentality so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go to Aldi I wanted to show you like a very affordable way to you know buy groceries if you're struggling maybe financially uh, you think that meal prepping or cooking healthy is expensive it's really really not um, I really actually love Aldi Aldi owns Trader Joe's which I don't think a lot of people know that I used to have this weird thing with Aldi like my mom would be like go to Aldi it's amazing and I'm like yeah no I don't think so and then I went and I'm like oh my god they have like kind bars but their brand and if they're like 80 cents they have like uh, Kodiak cakes that are there. It's just like they have all of the good food that you go to the grocery store and pay a lot of money for but they have their own brand and it's just as good and they also have like organic meat too so I do get my meat from Aldi there sometimes um, and I just it's called the never any brand and it's um, never any hormones steroids you know whatever um, so it's like they're all natural organic like meat brand which I thought was really cool I didn't know that Aldi had that they also have organic produce as well so if you are strapped for cash or want to just find ways to save more money Aldi is where it's at so I'm actually gonna take Brian with me because I usually vlog and I'm all alone so now Brian's with me so we are gonna go to the grocery store together and we're gonna bring you along just to show you the ingredients of what I'm getting for today's meal um, it's gonna be I bet you we're gonna spend like $20 it's gonna be incredible so I will see you in a little bit at Aldi I have my little grocery list right on my notepad on my phone so I can be very focused because if you don't, you'll just grab a bunch of things that you want and you're gonna waste money. So I like to bring my own bags as well because at Aldi, you have to pay for bags. So I just bought these at Trader Joe's and I just reuse them so it's perfect. So I wanna show you guys that, like just an example for how much Aldi has. They have brand and it's called Fit and Active and it's just like a Joseph's Pita flatbread. Like I, the amount of like healthy options that they have here are incredible. They have a whole fruit and free section as well. Um, so I just wanna point that out. Like they have like kombucha and lemon, um, cayenne, red pepper drinks for like, like digestion and stuff. It's, absolutely incredible so you have to check out all of there's so many healthy things here okay so fit and active fresh ground turkey 93% lean 7% fat no preservatives no added hormones no steroids like awesome and it is only three dollars and 49 cents Some more fun stuff that Aldi has. Like, look at these 
giant treatment for us. They have a ton of stuff, guys. You can check it out. Comment below if you have it all already and you love it. So we just got back from Aldi. We spent $30 and some change, but it was like $30 even, and then like, I don't know, 50 cents. And I got beer. And Brian got yeah. a six pack of beer. So I told you it was gonna be around 20 bucks for the food. So I'm assuming the beer was what, $5? Something like that. Probably a little bit more, I don't know. So we're just gonna say $25 for food. And you kind of saw everything that we got, but I'll just go over it really quickly because I did grab a, just like a couple other things um, that I didn't show you just because it got really busy with old people and they walk really slow and they look at you like, why the hell are you recording? I'm drinking a Bang Energy drink, my daily um, drug addiction. Yes, I take drugs and it's in the form of cotton candy bang. Um, so, for today, obviously I had a cauliflower. I got a smaller one because I'm gonna be the only one eating the cauliflower potato salad. I got um, celery. I got onions. This is all for the cauliflower potato salad. I got, they didn't have dill relish. They only had sweet relish and I hate sweet relish. So I just got little baby dill pickles and I'm just gonna chop them up. Um, I got some cilantro because I thought that would be fun to put in the potato salad. I think usually what you put in a potato salad is like dill, but I like cilantro. So I'll let you, like, you know, I'm making this, I'm literally making this recipe up. So if you want to add dill, go ahead and add dill, parsley, but I love cilantro and we use cilantro for like everything because we're huge um, like Asian, Indian, like cuisine lovers. So this will come in handy. Um, and then I got some non-fat Greek yogurt. I was looking for a smaller one, but they only had these huge ones. And I don't eat that much Greek yogurt, so this is probably gonna go to waste. <laughs> yeah, I can use it up until August 2nd. So we'll see, I have a month. And that is all I got for the cauliflower potato salad. And then I got ground chicken, which you saw, Tyson all natural ground chicken. I got zucchini, Ooh. I got zucchini because I grate zucchini into my patties, which um, I don't know if you've seen that before. I can't remember because I've given it. <laughs> Reality, I've given it to my clients before. Um, so I will show you that recipe a little bit later. I got two containers of egg white, just small ones, I just ran out. These were a dollar. I think, um, but again, the Fit and Active brand, which I love that they have. So two little mini containers of egg whites, always good to have. And then lastly, Brian loves brioche bread. That's what he eats. And I make um, this like homemade curry sauce that I cook chicken in the crock pot with. And the other day, there's no shame in what I'm about to say. <laughs> I was eating my dinner, which was my the my homemade curry, crock pot. It was chicken, uh, sweet potatoes, broccoli, and the curry sauce that I made. And I eat it in a shallow bowl, and I ate everything. And I literally picked up the bowl and I drank the sauce oh, no as if it was like chicken noodle soup broth. That is awesome. But Brian, he eats like four slices of brioche bread because while he eats the curry because he's like like using that as a vehicle to pick up the sauce that's how good it is don't worry i'm actually going to be doing a couple mini youtube series on some different recipes and one of the recipes is going to be that crock pot recipe so stay tuned because you are not going to want to miss it it's so good so all of that for 25 ish dollars maybe even less because again brian got beer so i'm going to just um finish my, my drugs and I'm gonna do some work on my computer, some client stuff. I'm gonna pop in and talk to my fitness clients about the 4th of July, the mindset to have during this holiday. Um, and I will catch you guys a little bit later for when I make, maybe I'll show you my lunch, I don't know. I don't know what this day is gonna be, so just stay tuned. I'm gonna just show you everything. So I'm gonna go to my office and get some work done. I'm gonna show you my lunch here. It is about 1.15. And it looks like a, I don't even know, it looks like a little mashup. It looks like a mess, but it's so good. So this is a ton of brown rice that I had meal prepped. It's, I call it like my cilantro coriander rice. I just cooked brown rice on the stove and I stirred in some cilantro, coriander, and salt. 
and I think lemon juice as well. So I have a ton of brown rice, I have bro leftover broccoli, and then I have chicken. And then I um, seasoned it with a little bit of curry powder, of course, because I put it on everything. Half of a lemon, because I put that on everything. And then I put some tahini in here as well. It's so good. Um, I, you know, if I eat a lot of carbs, so if you do not want, if you want to eat this, but you don't want as much rice as I have here, you could always do cauliflower rice, or you could mix cauliflower rice with real rice. That's what I do a lot of the time to get more volume because I do get very hungry. So um, if I'm super hungry, I like to mix rice and cauliflower rice. Uh, so that's always an option. I feel like people don't think about that. So I'm gonna eat this and I'll talk to you later. All right, so I am making my cauliflower potato salad. And what I did already was I cut the cauliflower into like just like little like one inch chunks and then I roast it in the oven at 425 for 20 minutes and now I let it cool it's kind of still warm but I am going to put it into a bowl this is a, a totally made up recipe so So because this is a totally made up recipe, I am gonna do my best to give you guys measurements because I'm really just gonna go by like how it looks. So right now I just have a fork. All I'm doing is kind of like stirring the cauliflower just to break it up into smaller chunks because I want it to, um, I don't want it to be like big old florets, but I don't want it to be like rice either. So just somewhere in the middle, just chunky. And, okay. So I guess I'm gonna add the chopped things, the chopped things first. So I have a little bit of um, white onion, we'll say, or yellow onion, we'll say two tablespoons. Um, I have one stalk of celery, it was a small one, and then one dill pickle. And I'm gonna add that in here. Stir it over again. My burgers are cooking, and the timer's gonna go off. 20 seconds. So I have non-fat Greek yogurt and I am just gonna do like a spoonful at first. Um, this is one head of cauliflower, it's tiny, so I'm just gonna do like a heaping. I'll say this is two tablespoons. And we might be adding more. Who knows? This is how Christina makes her recipe. All right, so potato salad is kind of like, you know, there's like a dressing to it. So I want it to really be like that. So I'm gonna do a little bit more. So now we're gonna say like three, say four tablespoons. <laughs> you guys just eyeball it maybe um, and see what works for you and how much cauliflower you have. But I think this looks good right now so far. I might add a little bit more. Bro, you wanna come and show the consistency? See how it's like like a little bit wet? You don't have to get too close to the to the potatoes for them to see. It's a little bit wet, so I'm gonna leave it there. So we'll say four tablespoons right now of the Greek yogurt. And because, oh, I read a recipe for a potato salad that someone said they added pickle juice. I don't know if that's what my grandma does. So I'm gonna, because that's what they did. It's tablespoon. That's what we're gonna call it. I'm gonna add some lemon, just juice of a half a lemon. I put lemon in every single thing I do. Don't know if lemon normally goes in potato salad, but I love lemon and cauliflower, so. I'm rocking with it. You guys know it's gonna be tasty. Okay, now for the seasonings. Now this is like, my mom has always put cumin in all of her like summer salads. So I have to, like I literally cannot have cumin in like chicken salad, pasta salad, macaroni salad, tuna salad, it has to have cumin in it. So I don't know about you guys, I love it. It's like Mexican-y, I don't know. I love cumin. So you can do like a, a teaspoon of cumin. I'm gonna add some paprika. I need some 
salt for sure. Salt can be to taste. And then I'm gonna do a few cracks of black pepper. And then I grab red pepper flakes. This will be optional. I love red pepper flakes. I don't know if that's traditional or not, but this is my recipe. But if you don't want the red pepper flakes, just skip it. And I'm gonna try this on the camera with you and I'm gonna add extra seasonings if I think it needs it, if I think it needs a little bit more cumin, um, a little bit more salt. Let's hope it's good. I haven't had real potato salad in so long, I honestly don't remember what it tastes like. So that's what it looks like right now. It's a little bit red and a little bit pink. It's a little bit pink from the paprika. Mmm. Ooh. It is really cumin-y. Maybe a little bit less cumin. But I love it. I really love what cumin tastes like. I like this. I think it's really good. Burgers are done. Our fries mm. are looking good. They're looking real good. They sound good. They look pretty done. And now I'm just gonna grab my cilantro, which will actually go really good with the cumin. And the green is pretty. I'm gonna add a little touch of salt, just a little bit. And I could actually go for probably more pickle juice too, as weird as that sounds. Like that, like, I love pickles. I love that, like, I love everything, like, tart like that. That's probably why I love lemon juice on everything. Like, I even have, like, lemon juice, like, on my egg whites. It's that weird. Mm. Oh yeah. Ooh, yes. A little bit more salt. That's so good. I really like it. It tastes like potato salad to me. That's delicious and it's creamy enough. So I would say four tablespoons of the Greek yogurt depending on how many or how big of a um, cauliflower head that you have. So let's put dinner together. I'm just gonna put mine together and I'll take care of Brian's after. We don't have buns, we don't have cheese, we have nothing. We actually went to go grab a burger because I didn't want to cook and they were closed. So we're like, I'm just gonna literally eat a patty like this, probably put some ketchup and mustard and a pickle on it. Um, and for my turkey burger or my chicken burger, I usually will add like grated zucchini, but I was way too hungry to do that. So it's just gonna be a piece of meat on a plate. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Mm, that's so good. It does need to be chilled though. So I'm eating it warm. So like that's kind of annoying. If it was chilled, it's gonna be perfect. Now, oh my gosh, that's what I've been waiting for in all honesty. I could have them be probably a little crispier, but we are hungry folks around here. Yum. I'll put Brian's together in a minute. Oh my gosh, babe. Dill relish. We had dill relish the whole time. I didn't even have to chop that up. I knew we had relish, I just didn't know if it was sweet or dill. Oh my God, I'm using dill relish. On the burger. I'm just gonna do ketchup, mustard, dill relish. I like to squirt my ketchup in the sink because I hate, I'm like scarred from like if the ketchup is Ooh. like water, you know? Yeah, that's a great idea. I, I used some earlier and I had the grossness. Yeah, Ugh, yeah. All over my eggs. And when I put ketchup and mustard on my burger, I actually like mix it around and then I like hmm. take the excess off. Because it always is too much, I feel. Dill relish. I could eat 
pickles, dill, relish, all, every, all the time. For everything, look at all that. So, I want a pickle with every bite. I might even put some pickles on it. Little potato salad. Mmm, mmm. And then I'm gonna get a little cup on the side for my potatoes, but look at how good that 4th of July meal looks. Does it look good, babe? It looks so good here. You wanna do some zooming in with it? <laughs> sure. All right, guys, I am going to do some zooming in with it, just like Brian said, but I'm gonna end the video here. I didn't wanna make it too long, so hopefully it wasn't, but this is what I'm eating for the 4th of July. I hope you got a good recipe out of this one. Tweak it with the seasonings, however you like it. Um, I know it wasn't like exact, but it is really, really good. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna make Brian's food. I will see you in the next one.